This is the Dillon Precision 1500 grain um, scale. We are going to be testing this scale against the RCBS, I believe that's the 2000, and then the beam scale 505. We'll be reloading the 270 Winchester, 270 Win Short Mag, and 6.5-06, and 308, and 223. All those guns will be reloaded in a different powder. We'll do a five-shot test grouping over two different um, conographs. I just picked up this brand new Magneto Speed, and then I have an Oler conograph, and we'll do all that testing tomorrow. But right now, I'm going to start reloading all these different bullets, and I'll do a little video on how well they trickle charge. Thanks. Okay. The RCBS, it comes with like a whole bunch of different chargers. This one is only meant for the American style. I've just now noticed. This one comes with the Australia style, the Europe style, and then the UK style that you just interchange on there. And it comes with the screen wind saver deal and the pan but for my reloading purposes we'll just use the pan that's on the 505 since it is already scaled out to that and we'll also use it on there the rcbs comes with 250 grain weights um the dylan precision one it comes with a hundred grain weight just one so we'll get it plugged in get them running and we'll start reloading Okay, comparing the weights, we got 50.2, 50.2, so they seem to be pretty good. And this one was the secondary RCBS one, and it should be weighing at 50.1, oh, it's saying it's now 50.2, let's see if we can get 50.1, nope, 50.2, okay, nope, 50.1, stable. And then this one was saying 50.1, stable. Okay, now this one is saying it's 100. So we can put a 100 on there. Here's 100.3. Hundred 100.3, so they seem to be reading the same on their scales, which is nice to know. but. We'll see how it does with the conographs and powder charging. Okay, our first load here, RCBS is saying 53.3. This beam scale is saying it's a little low. So we'll put a little bit more in there. All right, let's try. That's saying 53 and a half. I have not calculated that one yet to that scale, but I was just kind of curious on which one's gonna be which. So that's gonna be for the 270. My target was 53 grains, and we'll check them over the two conographs. They're shooting 140 grain Sierra tipped game king called the game changer so we'll see how those do thanks alrighty this is the second load for the beam scale that's a little high but not much saying 53 and a half and this one we finally tear a did out and it's saying 53 and a half. Our target goal was 53, but we'll see over the conograph on what it's gonna be like. This is round number three, 53.4, 53.6. So we'll see which one is which on that one. Well, this is the first time, 
53 on the money. That's what we're aiming for. So we'll see which one of those is right over the chronograph. All right, now I was doing a trickle charge for the RCBS and the Dillon Precision. It is saying 52.9. This one is saying 53. Now, it was vice versa. When I had the trickle charger over here, it was saying 53. And then over here, it's saying sometimes 53.3, 53.1. This one was a little bit higher. So, we're going to chronograph these and then see which velocities we're going to get more consistent, which one's going to be higher and lower. We got different powders and whatnot. So,. That way we're going to see, although this one is fluctuating right now due to the wind drift. As for this one, this one would say stable. While it's saying stable, you can still trickle charge and it still go up in the numbers. Which I thought, you know, stable meant like it's done. Like you couldn't trickle charge. I was picking it up, picking it off. But I started adding with my trickle charger and I noticed, hey, I can add. But um, since we got this fluctuation, I'm going to take it off there and then see what's going on. Because that's still saying one grain higher, a point one grain higher, and this one's saying it's two point nine. So I might put one more charge in there. fell there went two more there went another one there we are 53 53.1 I just put it back. All right, that's it. We'll just go with that. Okay, for the other cartridges, it's the six and a half six. We'll be reloading forty nine and a half grains of hybrid one hundred V, and our test will use the boat tail target long range. Um, six and a half one forty grain um, burger bullets, and um, we'll get that all loaded up. And I'll just check it on these scales to see what it is. But I always write down forty nine and a half to say that's what the beam scale is, and then I'll just number it so that way I can see which one's more accurate. And that. Uh, and anyway, since he's been on and I reloaded the two seventy Winchester, I went ahead and recalibrated these just for the fun of it, and. We'll just see which one was more accurate. For some reason, this one was saying 53 grains. This one was saying 53 and a half. And then whenever I was trickle charging on this one, it was saying 53 grains. And it was saying 53.6 to 53.4. So these two have been mismatching. But over the chronograph, we'll see on our velocities which one's higher, which one's more consistent, and stuff like that. Because I did mark them down with a Sharpie. So anyways, we'll see what goes on from there. All righty. After trickle charging on the beam scale, that one read 49.9, and this one read 49.8. Normally this one would say 49.9, and that one would say 49.8. So let's take this off of there. 49.9. 49.6, huh. Consistent. We'll see what's going on with this load. Reading 49.6. 49 and a half. 49 and a half. So they're agreeing with each other today. Good deal. 
All right, well, I was trickle charging on the Dillon Precision. It got it to 49 and a half. Over here, it's saying 49.2, 49.3 was the high. It just switched over. So we'll put it back over here. Recenter it. Not saying 49.4, so I'll trickle charge it one more time. I don't know if it dropped or not. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Let me check it one more time with RCBS. See if it gained anything. It said it did. 49.4, 49.3. So, whenever I was reloading on this one, it was saying 49 and a half. And then I put it over here and it'd say 49.6. So, Right now it is going with what it was. It's saying that, yeah, this one might be throwing a little bit more higher loads than what this one was, but they go up by 0.1 increments, so it could be something. We'll figure it out later. I'm gonna show a trickle. I'm gonna show a trickle deal um, on this thing um, as it gets to 49. Just a little bit over. We'll put some of that back and then. Alrighty. Mm. Oh, it's kind of drafty in this barn. As you can tell, it is very drafty in here. So, anyways, we'll throw it and we'll see what we get.